So it was Jarman out, Pelle in. Oh. <laughs> Would have been lovely. Another new came into your life, a New York Cosmos was the, was the, the, was the next move. How on earth did that come about? Well, uh, we, had a lot of, we had a lot come down on trial from Carla one day, and uh, I, got for, I, I, I made quite good friends with him. He was, on, he was on trial for about a month, but he wasn't quite good enough, uh, well, at the time, oh, Gordon Bradley. And... Uh, well, eventually ended up as New York's chief coach. And uh, he came over. I went into Duck Hillard's shop one day and there was a chap in there who was at, at Yale University and he was a chief coach there and he, we got talking. He said, would you be interested in going to America? And I said, well, yeah, why not? It was just start. It was just restarting because they, they, they'd had one go and it sort of failed a little bit. And um, so the next thing I knew, Gordon Bradley was chief coach, came in, he said, oh, I'm coming to see you play. And that was at Exeter and then uh, Torquay. And uh, they offered me three times as much, four, no, about four times as much as I was getting at, at Newport, who were paying me more than what Bristol Rovers paid, paid me anyway, uh, for about 16 games, 18 games in New York. They paid everything with my, um, where I stayed. I had a flat uh, with a lovely te uh, colored television, which we didn't have here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and a fully furnished flat, beautiful. And I thought, well, this is, yeah, I'll have a go at this. A few surprises there. I imagine the pitches were a bit of a surprise at the time because a lot of it was AstroTurf, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Um, the very first one I played on was AstroTurf and, uh, in the Hofstra University. They apparently won their sort of league the year before, or their division. Uh, but it wasn't very good, apparently. You know, they played on this as it was like concrete. And uh, it was the very first time I'd ever played on it. I, I managed to score, actually. Um, but then it was slightly different. <laughs> you, you could walk on the field and they'd have this music playing. Diddly dee dee dee. And then they announced your name and you had names on the back of your shirt, which didn't happen over here at all, you know. Uh, the pitches weren't all that brilliant. Uh, and, and the standard was, the standard was okay. But uh, it wasn't until the following season that probably the greatest player in the world Went there. But you left. <laughs> you got homesick, Harold, didn't you? That was one of the reasons. You, you were homesick over there. Yes. I had three young children. I hadn't been away from them at all. And I did get, I did get very homesick. Um, about uh, ten years later, oh, no, five years later, I suppose, I had a phone call from, from Gordon Bradley. And what he wanted was... Uh, did I know of any young players that wanted to, um, that were, they were, were interested in playing football, but also continuing their education? And because he was working at a university, so, and they had so many, he had so many uh, bursaries, I suppose, uh, to use. And, uh, and he said, did I know of any young players? And whilst in the middle of that conversation, I said to him, was I retained for the following year? And he said, yes. He said, uh, 
I said, oh, good. I said, because, <laughs> he, I said, uh, I often tell the story that they had to replace, you had to replace me with Pele. <laughs> he, he, he sort of smiled about it. I said, <laughs> I said, it cost him a million pounds to re replace me. He said it cost four times as much as that. <laughs> yeah, so, so you, it was your decision to leave then, basically. And, and had you had you stayed, you would have played alongside Pelé. Oh, yes. I would have played alongside Pelé. Yeah. God. But he came out of retirement. And the difference that he made to American football was enormous. And I, I, I think now that that was the start of the sort of renations of uh, yeah. American football. Because so many other big names followed, didn't they? That was the so thing. many big yeah. names followed him. And all so many other clubs played out big money. Um, and the standard of the American players went up because the standard, of, they they had a, a, a very useful thing. They, you had to include three different, three American players, which was good. Cause that, but they weren't very good, actually. And one who stayed were Werner Roth, the centre half. I didn't think was a very good player at all. <laughs> but he he played with Pelé for two or three years. Did he? Did he? Yeah. And they built a they built a new stadium out out of it. Well. Really? Yeah. So it was Jarman out, Pelé in. Oh. <laughs> Would have been lovely. Would have been nice to play with him, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah.